Hey, this is Michael. Welcome back to me and Paul's channel. We're so excited to have you here. Before we dive into this video, which today is going to be called How to Wholesale MLS Properties, for those of you who are new, I want you to make sure you go down and subscribe to our channel because we have two new videos coming out every week and to turn on the bell to get notified so you don't miss out on any of these new videos. We talk about buying real estate, selling real estate, and all the exit strategies we use, such as virtual wholesaling, uh, buying and managing rental, rental properties locally and nationwide, uh, renovation projects, private lending, and owner financing. We buy primarily through online auctions off the MLS and from wholesalers, and we've purchased in 44 states. With that said, let's dive into today's video on how to wholesale MLS properties. First thing you want to do is set up a <clears throat> kind of like a search criteria. Within every MLS is different, um, but for example, you know, we could target new properties as they come on the market. We could target properties that are over three months or four months old. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, we do both. So as properties come onto the market, we basically created a search criteria where <clears throat> we look at, you know, three plus bedrooms, specific counties and a, a target area. And then from there, you know, you pick a purchase point, like, you know, as is uh, sale price 250 or less, whatever that is in your market. And then, you know, for certain MLSs, you could filter on you know, TLC, estate sales, or they might have specific property conditions like uh, below average or needs major rehab. So once you figure out what kind of criteria you could filter on, um, you could put that into your daily email that you get and you only get like a handful of properties probably then a day, uh, depending on how big of a geographic area you're in. And here's just a snippet from a you know, basic email I get in the Philly market where here's two new properties that came in via email and uh, they both meet my criteria. So if I went into them, I could see they need repair or it's like a very dated house that hasn't been updated since the seventies or eighties. So that's step one is getting access to the MLS and basically getting a daily, some kind of daily email or as they come on uh, new listings or properties over 90 or 120 days, whatever your criteria is. Next one is, you know, you have to set up processes and systems to keep track of all these properties. So, you know, first thing is, you know, learn it yourself. You know, you get the daily email, then what do you do? Well, we use Google Sheets or Google Docs to manage this process. Um, you, you could put in certain Excel <coughs> files as well, or Word Docs, you don't have to use Google. If you're sharing with a team, uh, we think uh, the, the Google Drive is pretty easy to do. So, you know, we'll capture MLS, uh, list price, the address, the uh, agent's name and maybe email. And then, you know, how many bedrooms, bathrooms there are. And then from there, we actually train our virtual assistants to uh, determine the low and high comps in the area, what's the actual repair value. And then from there, we kind of have a generic formula to see what we think is a deal or not. And then we'll go in and, you know, double check it and make an offer based off of what our VA picked up. And then once that happens, our virtual assistant fills out the agreement to sale he signs it for us and then emails it to the listing agent with our offer and proof of funds. Um, again, first few times you do it, document it. It's a very repeatable process that way you can hand it off to a local assistant or virtual assistant that you have on your team to automate 90 some percent of the work. You're just kind of like reviewing the, some of the final numbers before you tell them what to submit the offer to the listing agent for. And then, you know, follow up. You're not good. It, it varies. Uh, you know, on, you know, what kind of cycle you're in. Sometimes you get one out of thir every 30, some that are going to accept your offer. Sometimes it's one out of hundred properties you look at. It varies whether it's a buyer's or seller market over time. But the key thing here is to uh, submit it, have thick skin because some people might not like your offer, but you could follow up and explain to them that you're an investor and for this number to make sense to rehab or wholesale, whatever it may be, this is the number it has to be. So that's kind of like a high level process to how we handle it. And most of it's automated on you know, autopilot and if someone else does it for us. And then here's an example of a deal where we, we did um, off the MLS about, it was about a year ago. It was listed at 190 and it was over uh, 90 days on market already. And we submitted an offer where we knew we would have been all in for about 135. Um, that's including the estimated transfer tax and closing costs. So it was probably like 132 we submitted the offer for. Once we got it under contract with the listing agent, we started marketing because we had 30 days to close on it. And we were going to close regardless. Um, 
And we actually found a buyer during that, you know, uh, under contract period, and we were able to do a double close. Uh, the buyer purchased it for 150, and we made a wholesale spread or profit of fifteen thousand dollars. So this is just one example on ways you could uh, wholesale a MLS property. You could assign the contract, you could double close it, such as we did, or you know maybe close on it, hold it for a few more weeks if you have to to find that buyer, or just clean it up and maybe wholesale it. So utilize multiple extra strategies with the MLS. Hope this video was helpful. If it was and you haven't already done so, please subscribe, uh, like the video. And I add in any comments that you want to talk about for future videos or questions on this video. Hope this was helpful and uh, have a great day, everyone. Take care.